It's a litter of little art critics. This creative writing workshop is today focused on interpretation skills and with a diverse cross-section of children, each idea is unique. I would want to create like a land full of dogs and um, like a happy place. Some of these kids just love a good story. Sometimes when you read them, if they have good plots, it could just turn out amazing. Sydney Story Factory is trying to break down language barriers by tapping into children's creative sides. The not-for-profit group has enrolled almost 11,000 students since it was founded five years ago. So we work with lots of kids from, who are Indigenous or from culturally diverse backgrounds and we run free programs that will get them excited about writing, that will improve their writing skills and boost their confidence and engagement with education. About 50 artists, including four Archibald Prize winners, have donated pieces for an auction to raise funds for the charity. Last year's Archibald finalist Abdul Abdullah is also one of the donors. I find myself relating more to these marginalised kids than other kids, so that, that, that gives something for me to really appreciate giving something back to them. The exhibition and online auction ends on Saturday and all these pieces are up for grabs. The money raised will help Story Factory's bid to expand its operations to Western Sydney, the city's multicultural heartland. They have lots and lots of new arrivals, lots of refugees, obviously. There's also a huge, in, the, the largest single Indigenous population in the country, which we really want to work with those kids. Quite. And a chance to paint a brighter future. Omar Dabaj, SBS World News.